Hi, I'm Dan Rosenberger, Manufacturer's Representative with Echo Incorporated. And today we're going to talk about how to select your gas blower. We're going to talk about battery and electric blowers versus gas blowers and the pros and cons of each. And next we'll talk about picking the right blower for the right application. Do you have a light, medium, or heavy duty job? Depends on what kind of gas blower you're going to buy. And then I'll talk about the advantages of using a gas blower. Lightweight, agile, very maneuverable. Then I'll talk about selecting a backpack gas leaf blower. Depending on if you have a light duty, medium duty, or heavy duty job, depends on what kind of backpack you'd purchase. And next we'll be talking about what size blower to buy to finish your job correctly. Does it have enough CFM and airspeed to get the job done the first time? We'll talk more about CFM and miles per hour later. So with all outdoor power equipment, you want to make sure and reference your owner's manual first before operation. And now let me tell you a little bit about Echo Incorporated. We've been in the outdoor power equipment business for over 30 years, designing product for the discerned homeowner all the way up to the professional landscaper. Now that you know a little bit about Echo Incorporated, let's get started. Let's talk about the difference between electric and battery powered blowers versus your handheld gas blower. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated, and we're here today to talk about how to pick your gas handheld blower. And today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of electric versus gas handheld blowers. So with an electric blower, you're going to get much lower performance and have that pesky cord to drag around. What happens if you get to the end of your yard and you run out of cord? You have to spend the time to go back and pick up another one. You also have to worry about it getting wrapped around your feet while you're getting into those tight positions. You don't have to worry about that with a gas handheld blower. With a gas handheld blower, you fill the gas tank one time and you got hours and hours of performance time. You can carry the handheld gas blower all over the yard not having to worry about the electric cord. A handheld gas blower is going to give you more performance, more CFM, and more maneuverability over your entire project. And another advantage of a gas blower is the warranty. Many gas blowers offer warranties up to five years. On an electric blower you'll find that warranties range between 90 days in one year. Also with a battery packed blower you're going to find runtime that's very limited, sometimes less than a half hour. So if you have a two hour job you're going to have a full day of charging your battery to get your job done. Another disadvantage of battery packed blowers is the limited power that you're going to get. Gas powered blowers are much more powerful than electric blowers and battery packed blowers. So that's the advantages and disadvantages of an electric and battery powered blower versus a gas blower. Now let's talk about picking the right blower for the right application. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated. We're here today to talk about how to select a gas leaf blower. And today we're going to talk about how to select the right leaf blower for the right application. Do you have a small job where you need a small agile handheld blower? Do you have a medium job where you want to have a backpack blower that has a little bit more CFM, a little bit more miles per hour, that can move more material much easier? Or do you need a professional model for a much bigger heavy duty job where you need to move heavy material all the way across your yard? You can also think about buying a shredder vac which is going to shred those leaves into one bag which is for easy transportation or that you can use it in your compost pile. It's all about picking the right blower for the right application. Now let's talk about the advantages of a gas handheld leaf blower. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated. The video series on how to select a leaf blower. Now we're going to talk about specific features that you're going to want to look for in selecting your gas handheld leaf blower. You're going to want to check the weight of it. 
Handheld leaf blowers are very lightweight, very maneuverable, and easy to carry around on jobs all over your yard. Second is the noise level. Gas handheld blowers run between 65 and 70 decibel levels, so you want to make sure and wear ear protection when using your gas handheld blower. Third thing is storage. With a gas handheld blower, you're able to remove the tubes before storage, which makes it easier to put away, taking up less space. Next, we want to talk about the rotational control. With a gas handheld blower, you're going to get gyroscopic effect, which means that the engine's going to want to turn the blower housing to the right and to the left. And you can see with this gas handheld blower, the tube design is actually going to take away from that rotational control and be very well balanced while using it. Always pointing that tube straight ahead while using your gas handheld blower. And for the care and maintenance of your gas handheld blower, you want to make sure you keep fresh fuel mixed 50 to 1. You want to make sure that you have a fresh air filter that's free of any obstructions. And you want to have a new spark plug that's not fouled or shows any sign of distress. You can buy these pieces individual, or you can buy them in a kit, which we'll show you now. So now we've talked about the advantages of your gas handheld blower. Now let's talk about how to select a backpack blower. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated, talking with you today about how to select your gas leaf blower. Next, we're going to talk about how to select your new gas backpack blower. Backpack blowers are available in many models. This model is a side hip mount where you can also buy them on a right tube mount. Care and maintenance of your backpack blower is very simple. You want to make sure you have fresh fuel, 50 to 1 mix, no older than 30 days. You want to have a clean air filter, free of any obstructions. And your spark plug should be new, showing no signs of distress or coloring. Backpack blowers are generally more powerful, giving you more CFM and miles per hour than gas handheld blowers. Storage options for your gas backpack blower are very minimal. You can remove the tubes, storing this in a very small footprint in your garage. One of the advantages of a backpack blower are padded straps for comfort, padded backrest, which gives you very little fatigue on your body while using your backpack blower. One last feature you may look for in your gas backpack blower is an anti-vibration system that separates the engine from the harness, taking out all that vibration from the engine. You can see in this model, the engine is separated from the harness by metal springs. This is what takes out all that vibration. So we talked about some of the advantages of your backpack gas leaf blower. Next, let's talk about selecting the right size blower for the right application. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated on a video series on how to select your gas leaf blower. Next, we're going to talk about how to select the right leaf blower for the right application. You never want to underbuy when selecting a gas leaf blower. You want to take into consideration both CFM and miles per hour. Miles per hour actually rate how fast the air gets discharged from the tube, while CFM, which stands for cubic feet per minute, actually rates how much air gets moved through the tube. You want to take both into consideration while buying your gas blower. Before selecting a gas blower, you want to reference your municipality or village for any kind of noise ordinances. All blowers should have a decibel rating listed on them. This particular model is rated at 65 decibels. Depending on what region you're in in the United States, you want to pick the right blower to the right material that you're going to try to move. If you're going to move light, dry, small leaves, you'll probably get away with buying a smaller blower. If you've got hickory leaves or walnut leaves that are wet, you probably might want to consider buying a larger backpack blower that's going to give you both larger CFM and miles per hour. So hopefully these tips are going to help you out when buying your next leaf blower.